Welcome my friend, welcome in this video where we're gonna talk about productivity. We're gonna talk about how you could maybe waste one hour to make sure that you plan your goal better and accomplish more things throughout the day, throughout the year, and everything like that. So you're gonna see. The article will be in the description if you want to check by yourself because there is a lot of material I will tell you and I won't be able to talk about everything in this video. So really, if you want to go like, you know, See by yourself, I invite you to do so because there is a lot of step by step inside of it and you will see there is a lot of value for yourself. So, first thing, I invite you to bring break your goal, like you know, in little pieces. Why is that so? A lot of people just say, okay, um, productivity is about hours. Like, you know, oh, I spent six hours in the library, I spent six hours on this project, so it, it may be good, it might be good, you know? But it doesn't really work like that, you know? Productivity is not about how, it's about impact and what you can do in those hours. So the first thing that I want to tell you is that don't jump in the goal. Like, you know, don't say, okay, I have my project, I have to do so, I jump myself. But why is that so? Why is there a reason that you, you should break the goal down? Well, every time you see your goal as a mountain, when you say to, rain, to your brain, okay, let's jump on the mountain, that's gonna be cool. Your brain is kind of scared and that's why you try to procrastinate. You try to say, okay, the goal is too big for me, I can't manage that terrible strategy why would you want that you know and so we try to procrastinate on that you just say okay bad idea man i don't want to do so but if you break the thing in little pieces what it's happening where are your brain gonna say okay i'm gonna be able to manage the first one i'm gonna be able to manage the second step you know without scaring myself without frustrating myself and without like you know procrastinate and give up give up being, I don't know if that's possible I'm French you know sometimes I try to some word like you know give up being on your goal so the first thing is to break the goal in little pieces as you can see right here in the article you have the step by step I invite you to make pause like you know to put pause if you want to check the step by step but we're gonna go like you know really quickly because I know that you have some time I know that you want to be more productive and so I won't waste your time so the next one gonna be attacking the most important task of the day. Why is that important? A lot of people could just say, okay, you take your time, like, you know, you take your task, jump on the task, you'll be good. Doesn't really work. That's not a really good strategy. And when I tell you, attack the most important task of the day, I don't say attack your task, like, you know, when you wake up, you know, it doesn't really work. Because there is some popular stuff right now. There is a popular system, which we call to-do list. I'm sure that you have heard about this, or maybe you use one by yourself, you know? And uh, I remember the first time I used a to-do list, I was 21 years old. No, I was 20 years old and I put like, you know, 70 items there. 74 if you want to be precise. I had 74 items. Like, you know, some were like just eat a sandwich or maybe do some 30, 30 push-ups and something like that. They were not big, big impact tasks, you know. And that's what I want to tell you. you know? what, we have something that we call the law of Pareto, Pareto law, which is... In your day, in all the tasks that you could find in your to-do list, there is one that will take you 20% of the effort for 80% of the result, or maybe 6% of the effort for 64% of the result. And the goal of today is just to identify this one. Because if you just spend your time, like, you know, going from task to task, right and left, you will drift, certainly you will drift, but you will not go, like, you know, as fast as, as you could. Like, you know, that's not a question of, you will not take your potential you know you will just take some tasks you will say okay i've been productive today but you will not have an impact and that's a bad strategy so the thing that we're gonna do in this article we're gonna identify this one by a system of a b c how do you do so you write the task that you have to do into this like you know simple stuff and you're gonna like you know like you know rank them by importance okay you have the a system super important that the one like will make you go forward and your goal and create so much value for you like you know if you don't do those it doesn't work like you know it, it's not important if you wake up in the morning to tell you the truth second thing be interesting to do if the a are already good you know don't do those if you if the a are not good like you know that just procrastinating with us we call like you know useful procrastination when you do something cool but not crazy cool you know don't do those and the c are the one that will that your brain will procrastinate, like, you know, you will say, okay, the A are too scary, the A are too scary, I'm gonna jump on the C because, oh man, if I do all those, you will find, like, you know, all the excuses possible to negotiate with yourself. So just go for the A, you identify those and you go for them. And the next thing, you're gonna, you're gonna identify 
is the main action of the day. Maybe it's making a video, like myself. Maybe it's making, like, you know, going to the gym. I don't know your, pri your priority. But if you want to become productive, you have to do so. You have to know your priority. You take your priority, you found the one, the action of the day. The one that you, if you do, you're good. You know, you say, oh man, my day is a success. Just identify this one and you go for it. But that we said, as we said just before, you break it down. Because that's, if that's the main action, like, you know, of course it will be of course it will be hard the chance for of you of procrastinating on it are so high because that's so scary you say man that's so important there is so much responsibility for that i don't want to mess it up so i don't start because i don't want to like you know mess it up you know really bad idea but you get the point break it down you identify the main one and you break it down to make sure that you have like you know <laughs> to make sure that you have like you know a successful day is that you're productive okay we're gonna like you know skip a little but forget the article in uh, the description if you want to see for yourself i really invite you to i really invite you to do so i'm french remember so plan before ju jumping into action as we said if you just like you know drift imagine your life as a mountain like you know success as a mountain your main goal you could go like you know straight and uh, like you know hit the, the success the, the thing that you want to accomplish if you just drift like that you won't accomplish anything you will just go right and left you will say oh, man i'm productive i accomplished so much today doesn't work because you didn't have any impact on your day so really focus on this one like you know take some time to plan ahead before jumping in action and just go right and left right and left become more productive that way the video was kind of long so i cut it into pieces to make sure that you have the chance to apply all the techniques that you learn more than just giving you like you know more video more video more video doesn't really work like that so i invite you to subscribe to this youtube channel with the topic talk to me if you want to become more productive in the next day and you're gonna see we're gonna have a lot of fun about that more than that, try to experiment, see what works for you. Maybe there is already a technique that you can tackle and implement in your daily life. And I see you for myself 